Hello everyone, it is your amazing project queen again, and in this project video, I will be cracking up some Mythbusters and Prodigy glitches. Now before we begin this amazing video, don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any awesome Prodigy videos. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so we're going to be busting up some myths that a lot of you have probably not discovered, and they might be a little bit mysterious. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the first one. When you go to your friends list and click on a random button, sometimes it'll actually go to a person in your list. It is very rare though. So let's try this out. Let's click on a person, scroll around a bit like, like we're searching for someone around here, and click on classmates. As you can see, it does not work the first time. Let's go ahead and try again. Okay, so this is not working right now, but sometimes when you're accepting friend requests too. So my friend request list is getting really full, and I'm only going to accept one right now, but I'll have to cancel it afterwards. So I'm going to accept this person, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back over to... Um, a list over here. So when you go to friend requests, um, now let's try canceling one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Yes, cancel. Yes, and boom, it didn't work. That's so, so sad. Okay, so let's go to the very back of our list now. Vincent Night Shadow. Sadly, I cannot find any. Um, sadly, this glitch is not working for me right now. So guys, this, um, this myth does work. But right now, it's not working. Therefore, this myth is confirmed. It's not working right now. Let's look at our next myth. Okay, so our next myth is every festival, the dragon in Lamplight Town's eyes changes color to the corresponding festival. Let's go ahead and head over there. I'm in this really non crowded world right now because this person over here has kept chasing me, and yeah, that's kind of creepy. Okay, so um, anyway, let's go ahead and go up over here. Um, come on, come on, Andrea. And as you can see, the dragon's eyes are usually blue. So in the, in the different festivals, I believe they change different colors. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to go ahead and head over to one of my videos and the Starlight videos, the Starlight, the Starlight Festival video. Then I'll go ahead and show you the color of the dragon's eyes. Okay, guys. So here I am. I'm. I clicked on a summer festival video. since the Starlight Festival. I probably did not go all the way up here. So as you can see, the dragon's eyes are now green before they were blue. Therefore, this myth is confirmed. In the Starlight Festival, the dragon's eyes turn yellow. That's really cool, right? You can discover it out yourself with for Spring Fest and for Winter Fest. Well, I guess you must have seen it. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and head over back to Prodigy now. Okay, back in Prodigy. Let's go ahead and move on to our next myth buster. So our next myth buster over here is that Dun. The pet moves without um, we changing it when someone's changing an outfit. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to go ahead and ask a friend over to come over to Lamplight Town in, in the same world. I'm going in a really less crowded world today and I'm going to choose Cumulite because that's um, a very less crowded world and besides, it's actually less harmful because there's so many people visiting my house all the time that it makes it like impossible to do anything. Okay, so anyways, here we are. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Crystal to change her outfit. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to take off um, one of her outfits. I'm going to do that. And guys, look, th this glitch is confirmed because her body moved as soon as she took off her gear. Now, Crystal, you can put your gear back on now. And while she's putting on the gear, I'd like to explain this is. So Prodigy, whenever um whenever you teach changes an outfit, it puts on a specific set for itself. And what do I mean by that? I mean, um, I mean set by like whenever um whenever Prodigy like moves onto a new place, her buddy's right behind you. So you can see when I go to my house over here, our buddy's right behind us. Same as when we move, um change an outfit, it's like go to the same position like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back to our spot in Lamplay Town. Um, meet over there. Crystal, you can come over there. Okay, guys, now let's go ahead and move on to our next myth buster. So our next myth buster is 
when I, when we go over to the world map and head over to our house, it doesn't matter which place we go to, go to the pet book and then let's, let's see what we're talking about. So as you can see guys, over here is the Luminex. Look how many arms and legs he has. It's not the real Luminex, that's some kind of imposter. Okay, so as you can see, there's another sneaky tail hidden there. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. He's, and there's like two Luminex stacked on top of each other, but in a different angle. And also guys, here's one more Mythbuster. So, the, so whenever you click to the side, or let's go to the here, and whenever you click to the side, the name of the previous pet remains, but this, um, but the pet comes forward, it's still transparent. So as you can see, this is not a Lumini, this is a Luminex, and this is a Lumiot. You cannot go backwards, I think, but um, since this arrow is gray, you might think you cannot go back, but actually you can go back perfectly fine, the name still remains so. And then when you go back, everything's perfectly fine. Therefore, this myth is confirmed. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and head back home. We have cracked enough myth busters for today. That was a lot of fun, guys. Wouldn't you agree? Let's go ahead and go back home now. I've got a bonus for you before we end this video. So, um, on top of those myth busters, let's go ahead and try out a few glitches over here. So, let's first of all try out... Um, the amazing... Holy glitch! Okay, so let's go ahead and click over here, then let's go ahead and head back really quickly. So you can see our buddy disappears as we wanted him to. Um, so when we click on the pulley, he'll come back eventually, I promise. We just want to go back over there. And as you can see, our furry Titus buddy is back. Let's go ahead and head back over there. Okay, so we're back now. Now guys, let's go ahead and chill. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some secret places that you can meet with your friends. Um, I'm gonna go in my house and I'm gonna discuss a few places. So for example, if you want to meet up in Lamplight Town, even in a non-crowded world, you're still gonna see a few people and you wanna meet in a completely secret place. I've got an idea for you. So what you can do is you can go to a non-crowded world and go inside the upper Beano Vader. There's hardly any people there. And since I'm in the most crowdiest world in the world, I mean the most crowdest world in the crowded game, there hardly be any people here. Besides, um, Pivot doesn't catch your attention. So that's the best part. Hold on, wait. Did you just see that? Here's another Mythbuster. There's a little cloud every time you battle Pivot. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page and I'll log back in and I'll show you that little cloud that just appeared. Alright guys, I'm back from refreshing the page. So this is what happens in Mythbuster. Um, when you walk past Pippet, will a reaction happen to Pippet or its surroundings? So let's go ahead and head over to over here and you go past Pippet. Watch this tree. There's a little bit of cloud shaking. You didn't just notice that? That was so cool, right? Now over here, let's just go ahead and um, we're trapped. Um, I guess we have to battle Pippet. But anyway, let's go ahead and battle Pippet together. And I'm just gonna uh, finish this battle. Pippet battle. And Pippet, as you can see, just slides forward like that. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and now use. Falling Star Smashy. So let's go ahead and solve this question. Now, guys, a lot of you must be wondering can you do a shadow element versus shadow element battle? And absolutely, yes, you can if you were the lucky ones at the beginning of Crystal Caverns or you got some a glitch of some kind or something like that. So, you need a shadow element pet. And so far, the only shadow element pet that we that we know that was obtainable on the first day of the Crystal Caverns and from a few glitches, and um, I guess you can also get it from a hack, but I, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. I would just try out a glitch or try to go in the Crystal Caverns refresh really fast and try it. Probably most likely patch it on the first day. Yeah, and if you're one of the lucky ones, you could caught it then. Um, I guess you're still lucky right now because you're still probably um, a few of the first thousand to play it, so you could go and try it out, but I don't know if it'll work or not. Let's go ahead and use our all-out attack. I think it might defeat it or puppet. Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick tongue twister. Um, so the puppet master has a puppet named Pippet. Oh wow, he did so much damage. I think Pippet's gonna disappear now. What? Pippet has so much health, and we just did 9,200 damage, guys. This is insane. Anyways, let's go ahead and use that and that and that. Okay, so now it's kind of getting boring because those misbuzzers are really fun. Let's go ahead and try the friend glitch after this then end for today. 
I forgot to hide those frosty bears. And also, I need, I really, really, really need a new, a new style. I'm going back to my old ones, like Titus with sea foam style. Um, I did that in my Summerfest video. And with the ruined bat with the magenta hair, I've done that many times before. And yeah, I just really need something new. Like, for example, if there's some kind of new buddy I can put as my hair. You've beaten me this time, but if you stop learning, our mind illusions will overpower you. And over here, I guess, as you guys can see, just whisks away. And this is the meeting spot I was telling you about. So let's go ahead and go over to our friends list. And when we try clicking on the place, as you can see, um, hold on, I'm going to go to my friends. And I'm really sorry, I just need to X out just one of them. How about this one? Yes? And boom, it doesn't work right now, but I'm, I tr trust me, this uh, this glitch actually does work. When you click on classmates, it brings up a random person. I don't know why is it working right now. Come on, come on. What? Oh, I think it worked just now. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh. Okay, guys, it did work right now. Anyways, let's go ahead and go back home here. Whew! That was a very exhausting time together. Um, as you can see, we are back home here. We cracked all of our possible Mythbusters. So guys, uh, there's another last Miss Mythbuster. If you go ahead and stand on top of an animated item, furniture, your legs will disappear. Let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and stand on top of this animated fishbowl and voila, as you can see, my feet just disappeared. These, my, my little puppy boot just disappeared underneath it. Let's try it out with another animation. As you can see, it does not work over here. I think it only works on one of them. Let's go ahead and put in another animated thing. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove that. And I'll let the Frosty Bear stay there. Hey, why not? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go over to this over here. And I'm going to go get out the most, most animadious thing I know. I don't know that made up that word. Animadious. Anyways, I just have to remove this Frosty Bear. It's very annoying. I know, right? And, um, oh, come on, it won't go. Come on, come on. Yay, it worked. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go back to my house or I won't be able to click anywhere too well. I'm going to go ahead and stand on the lion's back. As you can see, my feet do not disappear. Therefore, this myth is not working. It only works on the fish, bowl, um, the fish thing once in a while. Okay, guys, so now I have one last glitch for you. And that um that is if you go to someone's house repetitively really 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 fast then you actually might be able to um get it really um get the items there really fast okay hold on let's go ahead and try it out one more time so guys, what, what you want to do is you want to go to this person's house go to a random person's house click on the house button so many times that it glitches so you can see i think prodigy patched it but it did work let's go ahead and try it out once more as you can see, as you can see, the page just glitched. Um, it does not turn black. Come on, it, it's supposed to work. So the furniture's turned black. And voila, guys, this myth works. Therefore, this myth is confirmed. As you can see, some of the furniture, there's, I think there was a furniture here and a few furnitures there. As you can see, it turned black. And this glitch is not that rare either. Let's go ahead and go back to this person's house and see what furnitures were there that got hidden. As you can see, the, uh, this, this, um, this tapestry, this banner, and the ice crystal tree got hidden. That was pretty cool, right? Let's go ahead and try it out one more time on a different person's house. I'm gonna to go to, this is this is my account, by the way. This is someone else's account. They have the same last name as mine. Well, not the double four four at each time, but you get what I mean, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this person's house many times, okay? So this is one of my friends, actually. That I actually know, hold on, let's go to their house so many times that we can cannot go. Okay, oh, come on wish me good luck okay oh as you can as you can see guys it actually worked as you can see some of the furniture in this person's house got hidden i don't exactly know which ones we can check and this is really um this is really cool if you're planning to get a picture of your wizard that's black as you can see if you're trying to take a screenshot of your wizard and show your um, people about it if they show like starry night backgrounds and you don't know photoshop what you can just do is put your wizard on one of these boys and take a photo and i'll be like i'm standing in pure pitch blackness i came out of the middle of nowhere and they'll all be woo 
I'm just kidding. Um, I, w I wouldn't recommend it to, uh, for actually for those type of contests, but I'm just saying, just for a little humor. Okay, so wait, let's just try one more time and then end for today. So I think the sofa got hidden there, and I think a bed got hidden there or something. Or no, this thing got hidden there, and the boombox got hidden there. Oh, yeah, right, the sofa, this boombox, and the lamp got hidden there. Alright, guys, that's all for today's amazing video. In this amazing video, I showed, I cracked up some mixtures and showed you. You can try if you actually. I cleared away some confusion that you guys have. Okay, so that was a. I um, had an amazing time together. Once again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any awesome product videos. I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Mythbusters rule.